guys is the Gilead calls. These are Feb 70 calls. I'm gonna to wanna to sell all of them on the open. So G-I-L-D, I'm gonna to look to sell all these on the open. G-I-L-D, let me show this is recorded. Two, three, 2020, opening bell. So Gilead, nice pop this morning. Look at it go. But I'm gonna to look to take them all off on the open. Hopefully I can get at least 60 cents here. Gilead guys, G-I-L-D. Hopefully you guys are gonna do a, have a very nice day in Gilead today. If you make money in Gilead, I wanna hear it. G-I-L-D. 60, up $4.20 here. So those calls that went down to 20, we had to trade at them at 20. Took one target at 30, the second target was 40. Now we're gonna get a lot more because you're getting that gapping higher level. It's a, it was not trading 77, it's trading 67. Look at it go. So I'm gonna wait on the open here and kind of go through opening rotation. I would hope these are about 70 cents. It looks like 81 cents. Look at Gilead go, guys. Let's go to the bid side. I'm gonna try to get it traded 81. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more. Let's try to get 85. Gilead guys, G-I-L-D, crushing it today. 93 cents guys, we can get out of 93. 93 cents guys, G-I-L-D. 90 cents guys, a dollar now. They're holding my order. You can get out of the buck guys. 102, $1, 94, 105, 106. Taking all the Gilead off, guys. G-I-L-D, February 21st, 70 calls from 20 cents to $1.08. Who is making money in Gilead today? Damn. Gilead, I wanna hear it, guys. 102, anywhere around this level. Out of all of it, guys. Every single one of them. Sell them all. <laughs> They're working my order. So sell. All oh, Gilead, February 21st, 70 calls for a dollar. I got a dollar, guys. Paid as low as 20 cents, guys. This is why I do not sell options for 20 cents. Gilead, this has now taken two winners into two into winners, guys. Gilead, out of every single one of them. Gilead, out of all of them. Not holding into earnings. G I L D. Great trading, guys. Great, great trading. I wanna hear how much you guys are making, too. Tell me how much you're making. Great trading. Unbelievable trading, Gilead. Let me put my targets in Medtronic. $1, $5,000, Rich. Great trading, Rich. They got as cheap as 20 cents. 20 cents to $1.05. You gotta get in there. Every single trade in Gilead is now a winner. So I'm gonna update the portfolio after the five minute bar. G-I-L-D guys, Gilead. I'm gonna offer some PDDs here at 60. I'm gonna offer some more at 80. Great trading guys in Gilead. Wow. 2,700, nice. Great trading guys. Great, great trading in Gilead. And just take them all off when the stock was trading 68. Could have got about a buck oh five for them. So that trade is over. And I'll go to the portfolio and we'll see how we're doing overall on it. $18,000 in Gilead, guys. $18,000, guys, in Gilead. So I'm gonna offer some uh, TCK calls at. Yeah, even the 80 cent kind is now a winner. So the first initial buy was 80, another buy I think was 60, and the last buy was 20 cents. I'm gonna put some targets out in Halliburton. So first five minutes, guys, I put targets out. Halliburton, I paid 38, so first target would be like 59. Nice trading, great trading everybody in Gilead. And they have earnings tomorrow, I don't wanna hold it into earnings too, so another reason to get out. 
Double D got as cheap as 10 cents. I was gonna actually do a reverse scan trade at a dime. Uh, Mosaic's down a couple pennies. I can put a target here in Mosaic at 39. Five minute bar closes here in a minute. We'll look at the five minute bar, guys. And we'll go to the portfolio. We always review that portfolio, right? And all the Gilead trades are gonna turn to winners now, guys. All the Gilead trades are turning to winners. There's three of them, all of them. They're all winners. So unbelievable trading, guys. ZM calls being bought small. Gilead, thank you for playing. Futures up 19. I'm not looking to get short this market. 40 to a buck 02, guys. Great trading. Unbelievable trading here in Gilead, guys. And we had that opportunity to get out of for a buck 05. You just hit the ripcord and you say, you know what, I'm moving on to the next trade. When it stocks up to $4, I like to just take it off. Okay, five minute bar closes here in a second. Comcast A puts trading here. Comcast A puts. So G-I-L-D, two of those trades that were losers are now going to winners. That was gonna really help the portfolio, obviously. Gilead, wow. Melco up 31 cents. Yeah, I can have targets out here in Melco. Now I offer half of these at five minute bar just closed. I wanna look at the five minute bar. I wanna review the portfolio. Guys, they're up to 106 now in Gilead. Gilead 106, you can get in better, out better. Wow. What a trade in G-I-L-D, guys. This is why you trade unusual option activity. Over $8,000 profit, guys, in Gilead today on my account. Okay, so let's go into the five minute bar. Then we're gonna go into the portfolio again. So a lot of those glosses in the last couple weeks, boom, in one trade, they're all the way back. Okay, so Apple on the five minute bar, no signal here, Apple on the five. Amazon on the five. Uh, Amazon's gonna be a buy in the five minute bar. Uh, Nike, nothing to do. So Amazon is a buy, guys. 2031 and change. Bob is a buy. No signal on Facebook. No signal on Netflix. No, Netflix is a buy. So Amazon, Baba, Netflix are all buys, guys. Five minute bar. $3,000. Wow. So five minute bar winner, Amazon, Baba, and Netflix. So three five minute bar signals, guys. If you guys have not taken off Gilead, take those trades off. We call that a signal as cheap as 20 cents. So here's the portfolio, guys, okay? And the portfolio, taking off that Gilead trade from 47 to 105. That is now a winner. The first Gilead signal was 80 cents out at 105. That is now a winner. So we're taking two losers that are now winners. So now we're up to 36 winners, 16 losers. Gilead guys, G-I-L-D, ripping everything off. Look at this guys, so this is how the account started. So I started this account with $5,000 cash, okay, just to show you guys. And I was getting crushed this year, and I told you guys the trades have not been winners. In 2019, this account was up about 7,000, okay? Coming into today, this count was down about 6,000. So I was still up, but down a lot. And look at today's, guys. Today should be your best day yet. Today, 100% should be your best day yet. This account is now up another 2,000. So I'm up over $9,000 on a $5,000 cash account. Okay. This is why I stick with the trading plan. Malco moving higher. Triple D, double D moving up a little bit. Yeah, I'm winning on a simulated account. I'm too big of a trader to be trading on a big account. I'd be moving the markets and I don't want that because I want you guys to get in where you want to get in. So we went back to the portfolio here, guys. Neo trading here. No new signals, guys. No new signals. 
So if you go to the portfolio, officially out of everything in Gilead, and then we have 56 winners, more Gilead trading here, 36 winners, 16 losers. Nice trading, great trading. Everybody's doing well in Gilead. Could have gotten as cheap as about 18 cents. 18 cents to a buck oh five over the weekend. Someone, Raymond said he made $18,000. Schwab was mentioned on CNBC. Schwab was mentioned on CNBC after I gave the trade, three to three hours after I gave the trade. Look at David, $8,500 in Gilead. Great, great trading, everybody. Sticking with the plan, not getting frustrated if the account is down money in a day. It's a marathon, not a sprint, guys. Five K, four hundred twenty dollars. Great trading, guys. Unbelievable trading here in Gilead. Malco moving higher. Nike moving higher, but you know these calls are so far out of the money. Sixteen hundred Gilead, five thousand in Gilead. Great, great trading, guys. I have a target in Medtronic here at seventy-five. I have a target here at a buck. That's a reverse scan trade. Let's go to reverse scan. Baba calls being bought. No new signals yet today. So let's go to reverse scan and see how that's doing. So we have the total portfolio, guys, which is 1450 Club. On the 1450 Club, took out all three trades in Gilead today. So 56 trades, 36 winners, 16 losers. So the win rate, 4,800 in Gilead. Wow, I'm loving it. 36 divided by 52. 69% win rate here, guys. 69% win rate. Reverse scan. We've been tracking these. There's no signals today. Nine trades, six winners, three losers. And I actually need to update this because this actually is a loser. So that would be five winners, four losers. When you buy upside calls, guys, the most you can lose is what you pay and you can make a lot. Great, great trading. MT puts being sold. EPC, more calls being bought. They continue to buy calls in EPC. They have earnings on the 10th. <clears throat> EPC, guys, stocks up a buck 40. I gave these guys for a bonus trade in mentoring in EPC, guys. EPC, the March 30s, I gave those at 70 cents. You just hit target one if you're in EPC. Gave a signal here in EPC. EPC, great trading, guys. Gave this as a bonus trade in mentoring. Five minute bar, we have a couple signals. Let's go to the 10 minute bar. When the market's up, you know, those are usually days we're gonna take profits. When the market's down, that's usually days when maybe a reverse scan comes in. Buy low, sell high. PDD's on reverse scan still. Baba, five minute bar winner. Google getting hit here a little bit. Tesla up $43. Huh. Wow. Tesla up $43. Malcolm moving up nicely here today. Gilead, nope, that ship has sailed. The whole trade is over at around a dollar. I would not be holding Gilead into earnings. You know, one thing you could do is you could, you know, make them spreads, but I would not be holding it into earnings. I don't like holding unusual option activity into earnings, scan trades into earnings, I like to take them off. There's too much risk on earnings. Let's review our three um, five minute bar signals to see how they are doing today. So Amazon was a buy at 20.31.82. So Amazon is a buy. If you guys took EPC, great trading, guys. We want you to mention this in the Facebook group. Tell everybody, brag how much money you made in Gilead. And like I said, guys, a lot of trades haven't been winners. One big trade turns that frown upside down. Gilead went from 20 cents to a dollar over the weekend. That's a 5X.
That's a 5X, guys. 20 cents to a dollar. Uh, medical calls being sold right here. Um, I think I'm gonna pull the ripcord here in Malco. I'm gonna try to sell my front month for eh, like 3,500 Malco just were sold on the bid. Great trade in an APC, guys. Great trade in APC. Great trade in an APC. PDD up on the day. I do have a target out. PDD now up on the day. So let's go to the Amazon is a buy. So Amazon's a buy at 2031.82. Amazon's a buy at 2031.82. What you could do if you wanted to, you could buy in the money call spreads. So you could buy the 220, 230 call spread. Sorry, the two the 2030, 20. 50 call spread in Amazon. Amazon is a buy, guys. That trade is working out. Baba was a buy. That stock's up $2 from when I flagged the buy in Baba. Okay, so we have five minute bar winners. Uh, double D. The target was actually hit at like 64. I apologize, it did not hit 65. It hit 64. Halliburton, you can still, it's still on. MCHI, nothing to do there. Being patient here, guys. One monster exit today. Looking at Melko right now. Melko should be moving a lot more. Melko just holding it right now. The um, February calls are down 10 cents. The, the uh, March calls are basically up a nickel. So as a trade, it's probably overall here. Yeah, you gotta set those targets out, guys. We talk about this all the time. You gotta put your profit targets out. If you're not putting profit targets out, you're leaving money on the table. So I'm just gonna remove Gilead from here. That trade is over. No new signals today. Uh, Fossil is a losing trade. Yes, it's one of the 16 losing trades. Halliburton, you could have got in cheaper. There's going to be no reverse scan trades today. Uh, unless uh, double D, which it probably won't be. 10 minute bar. Let's go to that real quick. And then we'll review the portfolio again. Good morning, morning. Facebook, nothing. Baba, nothing. Amazon, nothing. So let's go back into it. If you guys hold Gilead for earnings, that's up your own discretion. I just pull the ripcord. I say, you know, the trade is over. I just made a ton of money. So we see here, this is the total portfolio, guys. The blue ones are still open. The black ones are closed. And Gilead went from two losing trades to now two winning trades. And... So this trade is now closed, 20 cents to a dollar. And there's been officially 56 trades, 36 winners, 16 losers. Cliff is a loser, EPD is a winner, Fossil is a loser. Yeah, there's 16 losing trades. So losing trades have been Fossil, LBTYK, JetBlue, um, First Solder twice, HPE. So I track this every single day. If you guys want, you can take a screenshot of this. Futures bid. And a lot of those losses will be taken away because that one trade in Gilead. So this is my account year to date, guys. Even with all those losing trades, all it takes is one big, big trade. Uh, Nike's nothing to do here. There's nothing to do in Nike. I wouldn't buy more and I wouldn't sell any. They're nine cents here, Nike. Melco selling off here. No new signals today, guys. No new signals. Futures are bid. PDD moving lower. PDD is one more reverse scan. Um, these are the 39 and a half at 20 cents. So 
So I could put a 20 bit if I wanted to, guys. So this is a reverse scan. PDD, February 28th, 39 and a half calls for 20 cents. So reverse scan trade, guys, in PDD. A reverse scan here in PDD. It's not, it hasn't hit 20 cents though. Thank you. US, and we gave EPC as a bonus trade during mentoring. Look at EPC, guys, go. Wow. So EPC was a signal we gave you last week. Aggressively buying calls. EPC. STNG trading here. Some puts. Uh, EPC is up $2.11. Huge aggressive call buyers in EPC, guys. Huge aggressive call buyers last week in EPC. Gave this as a bonus trade in mentoring. Gilead was first mentioned, uh, we can look at the date of it, long time ago too. First mentioned was 80 cents to be honest. First trade in Gilead was, Gilead. The first trade in Gilead was January 4th. So that trade was actually on for a month. So now just being a little bit patient here, just kind of waiting. Amazon was a buy. So if we go to the five minute bars, we had three five minute bar signals. We have a five minute bar signal on Amazon. It was a buy at 20, 30 and change. You'd be up $7 if you took that trade. So Amazon was a buy at 20.31.82. Amazon was a buy at 20.31.82. 30, 20, you could buy it in the money call spread if you wanted. 2.20, 2 2.40 call spread. And if we go back to, you know, the main thing of what we're talking about here, guys, is which trades to take because there's a lot going on in the trading room. So I say if you're in the trading room, take the official signals. It's about a 69% win rate. If you're making money in that, take the super options trades. Only if you're making money in that, then you can go to scan ideas and pretty soon I'm gonna move um, reverse scan above scan ideas, okay? Then you can take the five minute bar, then you can take the cloud, then you can take earnings. So this is the hierarchy, guys. Don't be taking earnings unless you're making money all the way up here. Don't be taking the five minute bar unless you're making money as well. NKTR profit heart take, target hit. Isn't it more fun to make money? <laughs> Isn't it more fun making money? Wow, look at NKTR. Uh, TCK, I, used, I took a reverse scan trade at 13 cents on the March calls. So March calls, you can probably get in at 13 here, guys. You can probably get in at 13 here. So there's a reverse scan from last week in TECK. T-E-C-K, March 20th, 16 calls for 13 cents. Futures just bid. Medtronic, there was a reverse scan trade last week. No new signals today, guys. No new signals today. No new signals today. Uh, DuPont had a target of 64. So it just depends where you got in. It did get a target at 64. Halliburton, you can still get in that trade. WWE was down like $13 last week. So Amazon five minute bar buy winner. Baba five minute bar winner. Netflix five minute bar winner. So three five minute bars, three weight winners, guys.
And also guys, if you're, if you're new to trading, don't be taking so much February options. Those have the highest risk, the highest reward. So if you're also a little bit newer guys, don't be taking those February options. Those are riskier, okay? Something that's March, a little less risky. I would like to see calls in WWE be bought today. EPC, yep, huge winner. Monster winner in EPC, guys. Gave you a bonus trade on that one. Uh, Double D hit 64, yes, not 65. Yeti's higher. LITE puts trade in here. Tesla above 700 now. Uh, Double D hit a target at 64, so it matters what you paid to figure out you know, if you got out of it. And if you don't like Malco, it's a February position you can get out for a 10 cent loser. Q-G-E-N, guys. This is an idea. Q-E-G-N, not the biggest order in the idea, guys. Q-G-E-N, small order. Q-E-G-N, February 21st, 36 calls up to a dollar. That's an idea, not taking them. Too small of an order. Scan idea, guys. Q-G-E-N, February 21st. Thirty-six calls, up to a dollar. Uh, Melco, it's up to your own discretion if you want to sell it or leave it. I, I think you can rationalize either of them, selling it or leaving it. Melco, M L C O. Um, if something's down, you could use a reverse scan trade if it's a little bit longer dated. So you could do your reverse scan trade if it's a little bit longer dated. I don't want to be doing reverse scan trades in February. It's got to be March and on. It's got to be March and on. Nike up, doesn't really matter because these calls are still down. Three five minute bar signals, three winners. So 10 minute bar is something I look at. Here we see Facebook. Facebook's under the cloud. Anything that's a scan idea, guys, we don't track. So if you have a scan idea, like MT, we don't track it. Um, Bob, a 10 minute bar, just continues to move higher. That was a buy in the five minute bar. Amazon, higher, gave you a buy at 2031. Gilead, more calls trading here. Tesla, up $60. Wowzer. <clears throat> Mosaic, uh, that was a reverse scan trade. Could have got as cheap as 18 cents. So this is what I'm talking about, guys, reverse scan. A lot of trades initially lose money, but then they come back. This is why I don't mind adding to a losing position. <coughs> I think you can add in T-E-C-K. <coughs> mentoring is three days a week, guys. We have mentoring next week. Small WDC calls being bought. TCK still on. So if I go to the notes tab, um, I want to get the, rid of the three Gileads here. So less positions. Uh, X is still on. I mean, I assume they're worth zero. They're worth one penny, but technically still on. Some goose puts trading here. Let's go to the notes tab, guys. Anything that goes to a penny or like worthless, I just remove from the notes tab. Doesn't make me upset to just, hey, let's not look at it anymore. Futures down 62 on Friday, up 33 today. And I haven't seen any good new signals today. Gilead should have paid a lot of people a lot of money. And you guys, when you're trading, so like Triple D, if you're, if you're like, I'm down a lot of money, you're not playing by the rules, okay? We have this in the notes tab. We tell you a guide. How you go by that guide is up to you, okay? And basically what the guide tells me is based on a $5,000 account, I should be only trading about $300 risk in weekly options. So Double D, you would probably have, so like basically, 
on a $5,000 cash account, your risk should be weekly options, two to 300, monthly, which is your February options, should be about 500 of risk. And then four weeks plus, that's when you can go to 1,000 plus, okay? So if you're trading anything in February, especially today, tomorrow, two to three hundred dollars, guys. That's it. Don't get crazy. Two to three hundred. Gilead's traded sixty-five thousand calls. Wow. Gilead's traded sixty-five thousand calls today. Sixteen times usual volume. Uh. No, I, I can't put, you can take a screenshot of it. You can take a screenshot. I can't put it into the notes tab. They don't want me to put uh, closed positions in there. Just trying to figure out what to do with Malco, guys. Malco's coming higher. It looks bid. Medtronic higher. Uh, yeah, PDD, I would do a reverse scan trade at 20. If I paid 20, targets would be 30 and 40. So it's not there yet, but I do have a bit resting bid in case I'm at the gym or something and I get filled. So I have an exit at 60 and I have a bid at 20. No new signals today. I wish I had some new signals today. So PDD, um, sorry, DD, that is... So about two weeks out. So you should be risking about $300 on a $5,000 account. I'm gonna take off, um, let me see how many of these I have. Looking at taking off Melco here. Um, my other account. <sighs> Melco, I have 20 and 20. Eh. I'm going to take off all my Melco calls, guys, in both months. I did see them selling some calls today. So MLCO, guys, I'm going to take off both my calls. Um, one is a loser. One is a probably a small winner. So MLCO, guys, I'm going to take off both my calls here in MLCO. So exiting all MLCO calls, February for 50 cents, and then uh, March for 80 cents. So MLCO guys, pulling the rip cord on these, taking advantage of this market being up, just cutting back on a little bit of premium guys. So MLCO, I'll be out of MLCO here now. I'll be out of MLCO out of Melco. So let's go in here and update the portfolio spreadsheet. Out at 50, out at 80. So MLCO, you know, like sometimes you gotta just compare yourself to a hedge fund manager. Can I put, can I put you know, my money somewhere else? And I think the, the answer is yes. So I got out of Fe uh, March for about 82, it's a winner. And then I got out of February for 50. So that's actually a loser, small loser, but it is a loser. So MLCO pulling the rip card here in Melco. Pulling the ripcord here in Malco. Take advantage of the strength in the market, guys. So this will get me 35 and this will give me 17. So two more guys, pulling the ripcord in Melco. Pulling the ripcord here in Melco. M-L-C-O. So taking, you know, taking some risk off the table. Futures are up 40 today. The market's doing really well. My PL is doing well. So maybe I'll pull it, take a little bit of money off the table, okay? So now if you look here, I don't really have many positions left, right? Uh, Mosaic, uh, Medtronic, Tech, PDD, Malco's off, uh, Halliburton's up a little bit, Double D's a s small position since February, and then Nike. So a lot of taking risk off the table, guys, kind of hitting the restart button and saying, hey, there'll be more signals. Hopefully there'll be better signals. Maybe take some of it off and wait for another good signal, which we haven't got any signals yet today, in my opinion. 
And like I said, with one day in Gilead, you know, my account was down a lot this year. A lot of the trades were not working. And I said, be patient. I've been trading the system for 17 years. Look at my Gilead P&L today, almost $8,000. This option went from 20 cents to a dollar. That's unbelievable. That's 5X over the weekend. <clears throat> uh, let's go. We had five minute bar longs. So this is an idea I give you guys. So this is a five minute bar here. Five minute bar here in uh, Netflix. You buy the close of the five minute bar. You sell it market and close. Okay, this is a buy, 349. You buy it right there. We gave you three five minute bar longs. So now, if the market sells off, I got some you know, dry powder. I can get into some other things that you know, I wanna get in. You know, even, even anybody that trades only has a certain amount of money, right? You can't get in every trade you want. You can't keep every position. You know, what's gonna make me the most money? Looking for those best signals of the day. If it's one signal, fine. If it's three, fine. So five minute bar, guys, is a bull five minute bar above the cloud. And then you just buy it, you sell it, mark on a close. You could buy in the money call spreads, or you could buy um, the measured move target of calls. But remember, guys, this is fourth on the totem pole. Don't take this unless you're taking all the official signals, then the ideas, then reverse scan, and you're making money on those. So there's three signals today. So far, there's three winners. I was looking at TTM calls, small order and Tata. Small order and Tata Motors. Not a big enough order for me. Gilead calls being sold. <sighs> nice trading, Bobby. Made 1800 in Gilead. Great trading. Going to Baltimore tomorrow. We'll be working on some 1450 club stuff for your listening pleasure. Halliburton's a small winner. Reverse scan and traded mosaic, work it out. So I'm looking for PDD to go lower so I can put on a reverse scan trade. You know, X is gonna go to zero. Cliff is gonna go to zero. Fossil's gonna go to zero. Even with all that said, my account is now on the highs it's ever been. Started with the $5,000 cash account. It's up about $9,000. Okay, if you got out of Malco at 80, let's look at the next trade. What's the next good trade? Uh, PDD, there's one reverse scan trade on now. These are the February 20, uh, 38th. 39 and a half at 40, and then I buy more at 20. Yeah, I think uh, tech is always okay at about 13 cents. So reverse scan trade in tech at 13. <coughs> so if you guys want, I'll take put the portfolio up again. <coughs> so here's the portfolio. Box is gonna go to zero probably. <clears throat> so here's the portfolio. 56 trades, 35 winners. So that's the portfolio. <clears throat> we have a reverse scam portfolio. Nine trades, five winners, four losers. Then we have a super options portfolio. Super options portfolio, it's up 1100% on what we've been tracking. Super option trades have been amazing. Uh, no, we can't change the scanner. I don't own the technology of the scanner, so we cannot change the scanner. PDD puts being sold here. Doesn't change my opinion about anything. Uh, PDD, I think like $500 of risk is fine. So if you wanted to, we did have a reverse scan trade at 40. We're gonna have another reverse scan trade at 20. So the way that a reverse scan works is I'm looking for the open interest to be greater than volume. So I'm looking for trades that are actually like down money and I'm looking to add to those positions. So these actually hit at a dollar 
And then I think on Thursday, they went down to 40 cents. And I said, this is a good reverse scan trade, okay? If these can go from 40 back to a dollar, I'll make two and a half times my money. Oh, Google has earnings tonight. Let's look at uh, how the stock has performed on earnings. I haven't do, been doing uh, earnings that well, so I kind of stopped doing earnings. Google, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it sold off five of the last eight quarters. So it sold off five of the last eight quarters. It sold off five of the last eight quarters. Let's look at the implied move today in Google. So the implied movement, <clears throat> so I look at the at the money straddle. So the 1465 straddle is priced at about 80 bucks. So they're implying about an $80 move between today and the end of the week. $80 move implied between now and the end of the week in Google. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Medtronix on a reverse scan trade. If you haven't gotten in these yet, you can still get in these. <clears throat> these are MDT. So here's a reverse scan trade, guys, if you want one. I already put this one on. MDT, April 17th, 130 calls for 50 cents. MDT, April 17th, 130 calls for 50 cents. That is a reverse scan trade. It's already on. So it won't be like officially tracked per se. And it's interesting that I haven't really found much today. So box is gonna go to zero. Cliff is gonna go to zero. You don't have to do anything. Fossil will go to zero. Gilead is over. HPE goes to zero. So a lot of risk is coming off the table here for me. MDT. This was something we did on Friday, uh, Thursday, I think. So MDT, April 17th. Here's a reverse scan trade. MDT, April 17th. 130 calls for 50 cents. So there's a reverse scan trade. So this initial signal was 75. I wanted to look at Marvell. I don't really like it. UTX. B I L I calls being bought. H O G. T D Ameritrade. I like those. And if there's no signals today, there's no signals. Okay. It's possible that a good signal doesn't come in the first hour of the day. It's possible tomorrow we get three. <coughs> Excuse me. PDD is okay at 40, I think, and it's good at 20. So taking advantage of weakness. Tech you can get at 13 cents. Tech resources. Yeah, and if you guys did not make money in Gilead today, I mean, that signal's been on for a while, and actually that signal's been flagged three times. So Gilead... And we, we changed the name of these. These are now reverse scan trades, right? So these would have been a reverse scan trade, not a new signal. So Gilead, the signal was on, um, so this is how reverse scan works. So the signal was on January 4th. So on January 4th, we had a signal at 80, right? And I say, you know, adding to it twice, buying it down one third. So if you paid 80 cents in Gilead, which is now a winner, which is a huge massive loser for a long time, if you paid 80 cents in Gilead, okay, if you're trading reverse scan properly, you're gonna add at about 50, 50 to 55, and then you have one more add here at a quarter, okay? <clears throat> so you would have bought them at 80. Let's say you bought $500 worth. You would have then had $500 worth at 50, okay? And then you would have had $500 at a quarter. That'd be $1,500 of risk total. And if you sold them all for a buck, let's do the math on these, this would have been a six lot, this would have been a 10 lot, and this would have been a 20 lot. So that's 30, 36. So you would have sold 36 at a dollar today. So you would have taken that um, 1,500 into 3,600 on a trade that was losing twice, okay? So that would have been actually more of a reverse scan instead of a new signal. 
but I did send Gilead, Gilead out twice. Yeah, I always do reverse scans, but I like to do reverse scans with stuff that's a little bit longer dated. I don't want to be doing reverse scans in February. And this is something, you know, I'm kind of learning a little bit, right? Um, you know, not doing reverse scans in February. So Medtronic, you could get filled at 48. Medtronic, if you get filled at 48, your targets are uh, 75 and a buck. Uh, correct. Reverse scan has their own portfolio. Uh, MPLX, I don't think was ever a signal. Uh, MPLX was never a signal. Go to the notes tab, guys. If you ever want to know what's still on, if stock, if any option goes to zero, then I just remove it, though. There's no point of watching it, most likely. CCJ, 52-week low. Let's look at that. Yeah. The ideas we do not track, guys. We do not track the ideas. You're on your own on the ideas. We track reverse scan. We track the five-minute bar. We track super options. We track the portfolio. And the portfolio, as of today, is at all-time highs. So if you're a member of the room, your profitability should be the highest it's ever been today because of that trading Gilead. Let's go to PDD here on the daily. PDD, I still believe in you. You know, one thing I like about PDD, look at that ATR. That is a big ATR. That is a big ATR. That ATR is a buck 58. A big ATR. Um, you can't get put on a stock if you buy calls. If you buy calls, um, yeah, if you're a new trader, don't be taking reverse scan trades. There's nothing wrong with that. Google's earnings today after the bell. Should be interesting to see what happens in Google. Still looking for like oil names. You know, if we see any big scan buyers of oil names or airlines. Those are stuff I'm looking for. AXTA, we saw some calls on that one. You know, on Friday, you should have been buying more than selling. And today, a day like today, you sell a little bit. Cost, CSEO. Uh, it depends on a lot of things. That's where you guys should watch the master course. Uh, you know, how much stock it controls versus how much stock trades in a day. How big is the order? Um, stock volume. Have I traded the stock before? Made more money today with Gilead than I received in my retirement check for the last five years. I like to hear that, Tom. That's awesome. That is awesome. And this is why I say, you guys, you know, like, and I, we're continuing to say it, like a lot of the trades so far have not been winners. Okay, this year has been a little bit rough, but I've been trading this way for 17 years. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I continue to trade this way. because I truly believe this is the only way you could possibly make money. For a retail trader. Halliburton, still on that trade. April calls, technically they're a winner. Being patient here, being patient. Uh, PDD is a reverse scan trade, so if you want to take a reverse scan trade, you can take it. Nothing interested that float my boat today. Nothing. 10 minutes ago, guys, 10 minutes ago, we do a mentoring Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're mentoring Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, I think double D is okay at like 10 cents. Um, I don't wanna be taking February because that expires in three weeks. I'm trying to look for reverse scan trades that are greater than February because of time decay. So I'm not looking at it at 10 cents. Uh, ATR and MDT, $1.71 once a week. 
So ATR is third of all days, and then the, the standard deviation ATR is two thirds of all days. So this is one third of all days, and then we have two thirds of all days. So this is two thirds, this is one third. Uh, super options just calls and puts, and lately it's been just calls. And super option trades have been awesome lately. Gil Yad. And B trading here. AMD trading here. <clears throat> so just being patient here. Being very patient. Futures up. So I mean it's a crazy, right? Like this is why reverse scan exists too. So we, we talk about this all the time. We want to buy low, sell high. So NKTR, it was not an official signal, no. So on, when was the market? Market was crushed on Friday and crushed on Wednesday. So if you look here, the market got crushed on Wednesday. Rebound, look at this, this is crazy. So we got crushed here, we got crushed here. You know, everybody's freaking panicking. And then we got rallied here. They're buying some PDD calls, guys, so that's good for me. Uh, then we rallied, we got crushed and rallied. So more PDD being bought here. Um, I do have some offers out on my reverse scan trade. Um, so I have the February 28th. So you can still get in these guys, February 28th, um, the 39 and a half calls. Uh, I think Pfizer was an idea. They bought some uh, February calls. So they're buying some small PDD here. Pfizer up nicely here. So PDD, guys, if you like this reverse scan, you can get into these. These are February 28th, 39 calls for 40. Targets would be 60 and 80. I already have this trade on from last Thursday, okay? So this is PDD. So Malco, the trade is over. Malco's over and Gilead's over today. And you know, contracts like Cliff that go to zero, just say, you know what? then you can put that in the penalty box. I lost money in Cliff. I'm not gonna take it again, okay? It's in the penalty box. Med MT was, there was a huge signal. That's in the penalty box, okay? There's 8,700 stocks, 3,800 stocks with the options in them. You know, some stocks trade better on, a new, on scan. Some trade worse. Figure out which ones are good. <laughs> PDD, come on, baby. So Netflix, I gave you guys a buy at 349. That's a winner. Okay. So that was a winner. Amazon, I gave you a buy at 2031. That was a winner. So three five-minute bar signals, all winners today. Uh, it's, it's two reverse scan trades. There's one at 40 and there's one at uh, 20. So I already got filled at 40 last week. I have one at 40, one at 20. I already got filled at 40 last week. Could have got filled at probably 40, 35. But I'm still looking to buy more at 20. So this is kind of interesting in PD, PDD, right? This is a reverse scan trade in PDD. So I bought some at a dollar. They went down and PDD got crushed. I bought more at 40 cents, okay? And now I'm looking to buy more at 20. So my market, okay, I'm actually bid for 20 cents and I have an offer at 60. If I pay 40 and I sell them at 60, that's 50% profit. So I got in once at a dollar, I've got once in at 40, and I would add one more time at 20. So I have a resting bid in at 20 cents. And I have an offer at 60. So if it rips, I could sell some. Uh, IGT uh, is not an official signal. 
was not an official signal. So let's go over the, I know a lot of you guys, like there's a lot going on and that's like the best thing about this room. Let's go over it a couple times before we break here in about five minutes, okay? This is basically everything you're gonna get in the trading room. So we launched the trading room and we said, hey, you know what? We're just gonna call it signals. And then people were like, hey, Andrew, I want other trades. Give me everything. So we're giving you everything for the same price, which is basically free. So the official win rate on the scan signals is back up to 69%. No official trades today. Super options are gonna be your second best. trades above scan ideas. So we're just going to reverse those two. Then we have the five minute bar. Today, five minute bar, three winners. Okay. So let me just reverse these two. Okay. Then we have each musical cloud breakouts. There was no signals today. And then we have earnings. So this is your official order. Okay. If we go here and we look at it, this is your portfolio. If you want to screenshot it, you can. We do not leave closed positions on the members tab. But if you want to screenshot it, you're going to have to screenshot it right now. Okay. Then we have reverse scan trades. Nine trades, five winners, four losers. I update every portfolio every single day. And we have super options. 13 winners, eight losers. It's up over a thousand percent. I also track the five minute bar. If you want to take any screenshots, you can. It's very easy to screenshot and create your own documents. So that's everything. Medtronic, I would not pay 53. Most I would pay is 50, and you could have gotten 48. They were at 75. Any questions? I try to answer everybody's questions. But a lot of people should have made a lot of money today in Zigiliad. Those options went from 20 cents to a buck. Um, well, I'll leave them up a little bit longer tomorrow. I'll leave every portfolio for like three minutes tomorrow. The five minute bar is buying a full minute, a buying a bull five minute bar above the cloud. Buying a bull fit five minute bar above the cloud. We go over that a lot in mentoring. Here's super options. And I haven't updated this today, so I do need to update it today. There you go, boom. Uh, double D hit target one at 64 target and then they're back down to 10. I'm thinking about taking some for 11 cents as a reverse scan trade. Let's go in here real quick. Let's see the ATR here. Ugh. It is oversold though. What was a buck a day? Uh, how many months? How many months? Okay guys, I'm going to take a reverse scan trade here in double D. So. Reverse scan trade here in double D, guys. 11 cents. Don't be taking these unless you're making money everything else. PCG, guys. I'm looking at PCG also. PCG. It's up too much today. So double D, guys. Reverse scan trade at 11 cents. Double D, guys. Reverse scan trade at 11 cents. I'm going to put my profit targets out at 16 and then 22. So this will be a first, first official reverse scan trade. Do not take reverse scan trades unless you make money and everything else. Buy about two to three hundred dollars of risk, guys. That's it. Two to three hundred dollars of risk. Targets sixteen and twenty-two. 
So a reverse scan trade right before the closing bid. February 21st, 57 calls. Sorry, 57 calls. 57 calls for 11 cents. It is in the notes tab. Targets would be 20, 16 and 22. About, about $300 of risk here. All right, guys, that is it for today. You are going to get kicked out slowly but surely. Everybody have a great day. Hopefully you guys made a lot of money today. And I'll see everybody tomorrow.